barbed wire in your crack. Not nice. <laughs> Hi, hello, I'm Shah. It's raining, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to take you for a little bit of a walk. Basically, I am gonna run through, it's not really goals, more sort of priority shifts, ideas, thoughts going into 2021. I'm not big on resolutions, so they're not resolutions. I prefer to sort of switch up my goals as I have new ideas and as new priorities become priorities in my life. So I'm just going to run through some of my thoughts. Shut up and sit down. A big one for 2021, I did write these down in my notebook, but I currently have snacks for the goats. So, big one for 2021 is to be here more, because look at it, it's amazing. I got trapped in Melbourne for about uh, the majority of last year. Hello babies. Hello. Some for you. <laughs> did you just choke? Alright. Hey mama, I got some for you too if you want. Do you want some? Hey? No. Nope. Okay. They're done. Oh, she's coming over. She's coming over. Hey mama. Come on, don't make me lean over. We've covered this. I don't want to get my electric boobaloo sort of zapped. Anyway, so be here. These cuties um make it very fun to come out sort of this time of night so i want to be here more which is going to be a bit of a challenge one of my priorities which i haven't really even thought about that much as a goal because i'm so close to it already happening so i don't feel like it's a year-long thing is to get my driver's license which i don't currently have but i have a car so once i get that it'll be a lot easier to fuck I should have got the tripod to come back and visit whenever I want basically I can just chuck stuff in the boot drive up Bob's your uncle oh look at that isn't that nice sunset I gotta get over this fence and try not to skewer myself on the barbed wire oh crap oh barbed wire in your crack not nice <sighs> okay now that's out of the way. One of the current projects that I have that I'm going to be working on across 2021. I can't officially start it. Well, I can officially start it, but you'll, you'll see what I mean. Because it will require me being here full time. That is one of the things I want to start working towards is being here full time for a bit once my lease ends in a year. One of my financial goals is to have enough income let's just go over financial goals save enough in uh for a year's worth of in um not income but like expenses so that i can go full-time freelance the other one is to save up to be able to afford to do this project which is once i move back here which is one of my plans to build my own little off-grid studio slash cabin right here overlooking the valley where we currently are so as you can see the view is spectacular and you get these amazing cloudscapes and this is the spot that i've picked because it's close to the house ish but far enough away that i can can have my own sort of privacy and i can film and also it's just really beautiful and i've been wanting to have my own sort of like loft bedroom so it would be like a two story with a loft bedroom as the second story and a balcony and then downstairs would be like a small studio slash living space sort of thing but it's not going to have like a bathroom sort of plumbing it'll just have a sink with kettle and stuff anyway 2021 is working on the plans the designs getting approval from the council working out how the different regulations from the council will affect the design and what i can build working out and start saving for and collecting materials 
and just getting it planned to the point where once I move back I can get going straight away basically. So that is one of the major projects that I'll be working on on the side. The main thing I'm trying to do for that is get my financials in better, like in a better system. I've got the Barefoot Investor book. I'm planning to read it and start implementing that finance, like that saving system, that financial management system, I guess you could call it, so that I have the resources to do it. Okay, that's one of the major ones. Let's check out some of the others. And this is the view that I would have from my cabin, which I fucking love it. Fucking love it. You can see why I want to be here more. <sighs> Lifestyle, life habits, life things. One of the things I've struggled with this year is having the energy to implement all of the ideas and the plans that I have. So I have all of the ideas and I have, I know I have the skills and often the resources to do them. But once I finish with my day job, I'm just buggered and I never have the energy. So things like yoga, taking better care of myself, eating better, getting into better habits like that so that I can have more energy to spend on the things that I love doing. And then the next thing is shifting my priorities of where I am spending the energy that I have that is not being paid for by my job, by my day job to be able to do the things that I want to do and focusing on projects that are priorities of where I want to want to be headed in life. This impacts both YouTube, my freelance career as a theatre maker, writing stuff, basically everything that I do. Music, ukulele, piano, sort of things like that. So, writing, which is probably what most of you guys have showed up for is not a big priority for me this year. Sorry if anyone is disappointed by that, but basically I don't want to be an author. Just going to put that out there. I don't want to be an author. I want to write books and other things as a small part of the overall umbrella of what I do. Now, 2020 was a shitstorm, skip on fire, whatever you want to call it. It was a shit show. One of the things I did end up doing was putting a lot more time than I normally would into writing because it's one of the few things that I could do without having to go anywhere, without having to talk to anyone really that much. And I could escape into it. I probably didn't use it in the most healthy ways in terms of escapism, but it unintentionally became a massive thing. <laughs> when I didn't mean for it to be. Project space is almost done on the first draft. Then I'm going to shelf it for a while. So one of my goals is to do the second draft edits. Then maybe give it to some alpha readers. That's not a big priority for me at the moment. My priority at the moment, well, this week it is. My priority at the moment is to finish the first draft, print it out, and then forget about it for a while, basically. I still have a lot that I want to do to it, and I love the story, I really do, but that's a later problem. I've been spending too much time on this fucking book, and it needs to be done, basically. So, my next big project that I'm going to start working on and putting a lot of my time onto after the book draft is done, which will hopefully be in another week or so, is a cabaret. Some of you may have heard me talk about cabaret before. I've got several different ones I can choose from. I think I know which one I'm going to do, but at the moment I'm tossing up between two different cabaret ideas that I have, which are solo ones that are just me, not Gay Bomb. You guys have heard quite a bit about Gay Bomb if you've been here a while. That one requires my friend Stephen to be available for us to make that together. COVID is still a thing. Um, so it's still hard for us to meet up and do stuff like that, but the other ones I can start working on. So, I'm going to be practicing ukulele, and I want to try and get a keyboard, but I'm going to be house-sitting for my brother next week. I'm going to try and use their piano to learn a few songs on piano, so that maybe I can start expanding my skills a little bit. I need to start singing more, because my confidence on that is currently fucking the bottom of the bin, and um, that's something I want to be good at, and it's something I love doing, and I haven't been prioritizing it despite it being something that I really want to do. So fuck that, I'm going to start prioritizing it. Basically, 
working on a cabaret project. That leads me nicely along to internet land creative focus for this year and beyond. Basically, if you've been around lately, you would have noticed changes. I've been doing less writing AuthorTube stuff, more just life stuff. That is intentional. That is going to happen a lot more. Basically, I realise, same as I said, I don't really want to be an author. I don't really want to be an AuthorTuber. I love documenting my writing proce process. There will still be writing vlogs. There will still be writing updates. But that is no longer going to be the only thing. So if that's all you're here for, that's fine. Stick around. That'll still be coming out sporadically. But I plan to branch out. There'll be a lot more just general life stuff. More chaos, I guess. Because I'm a disorganized bunch of shit who can't get her act together. And um, that will probably be the result. So on that vein, YouTube is going to become more of a representation of all of the creative work that I do. So I'm going to try and work out a way to document the process of creating the cabaret project that I'm about to start working on all the time. And yeah, I'm going to try branch it out a little bit more. I like to emulate the art and the people who inspire me, which is probably why I'm such a chaotic clusterfuck of a human being, because I never pick one thing. Um, so... The content that I make, the videos that I make, I basically treat that like my art. And I want that to be more representative of the sort of art that I want to make. So that's what's going to be happening. If you came for streams to this channel, I at the moment am planning to move all streaming stuff over to Twitch. Basically, it's not going to be exactly the same, but if you love that live chaotic char vibe that I have going. I do miss streaming. Part of the reason I stopped streaming was because videos like this that I spent hours making and editing were getting swamped by streams and no one would find them. So partly to stop that happening, partly because I just kind of got sick of the way that streams are expected to go in AuthorTube and they weren't exactly what I wanted to be doing so I just kind of stopped doing it. And I do appreciate the way that AuthorTube does streaming. Not ragging on that at all, it's just not exactly what I want to be doing at the moment, so I'm gonna shift. I am kicking off starting a Twitch channel. I currently have a long list of ideas of different types of streaming that I will do that I will quickly read through because why the fuck not? Making things live, stream, write, paint, sketch, ukulele jamming, reading my old nano draft, potentially because I read through some of it the other day and it was fucking hilarious both hilarious and hilarious how bad it was. So come over for that. Knitting stream, maybe ASMR art stream, maybe coffee and chat stream, sewing a jacket potentially. I've got fabric there I've been meaning to make a sequin jacket out of. Attempting songwriting live. Again, battle your fears. Fucking like deep end. I was trying to word there, it didn't work. Battle your fears by jumping in the deep end. I've done that a lot. I haven't been doing it lately and I want to do it fucking more. My neighbours can probably hear me at the moment, even though I'm in the middle of arse crack nowhere. There is a house maybe 200 metres that way, and I'm speaking very loudly. So, sorry, but also I find that amusing. Attempting songwriting and cabaret writing slash development chats maybe streams live. I don't know how that's going to work yet, but ukulele definitely is going to show up. Probably going to try and do some more art stuff and maybe do a few writing streams, mainly probably chatty streams. The only exception to this will be the Knitting Book Club. That will stay here because it's between mine and Renee ch Renee's channels, alternating every month, and that just feels needed to leave it here. Anyway, moving swiftly along. I kind of already covered the content changes things. Basically, with the Twitch evolving, YouTube is going to become more of a representation of the sorts of things that I do. So welcome to Chaos Land. More Chaos and Shah, less AuthorTube. We had a good run. It was fun, but I'm kind of bored with 
author tube stuff now I found found myself trying to come up with video ideas of like what would be a good author tube video idea I would come up with ideas I would look at the list of ideas and I would be like I am so fucking bored I do not want to make that I don't have any good advice what the fuck am I doing so yeah fuck that I'm gonna do stuff that I enjoy doing and leave the author tube to the author tubers who enjoy author tube yay last big thing that I am introducing in 2021 is chaos news some of you may have seen my Instagram post about this that I posted today but by the time this is out it won't have been today it will have been a day or so ago hopefully if I get on up with editing <laughs> anyway chaos news everyone's been doing newsletters and I always thought that was a really cool idea because I have seen this a lot both in AuthorTube for authors for different artists having a newsletter is a great sort of community hub thing the other one that I'm very inspired by is Amanda fucking Palmer and the Dresden Dolls. If anyone is familiar with their work, you may know that when they started their band and started doing gigs, Amanda created an email list and she would personally email out all of their fans and let them know when they were doing gigs. That newsletter is still running, though it is not her personal email anymore. But through that, she has built such an amazing community. So that is something that I kind of want to start getting going. So I am creating a newsletter called Chaos News. Now, this is not an author newsletter. This is a chaos newsletter. So it includes everything and anything that I find interesting. Hopefully, because so far the draft that I've done was, it will be fun and funny and occasionally drop into your inbox if you subscribe the link will be below to subscribe with a mixture of random updates about what i'm doing what i'm currently thinking about and any other random project things this will be a sort of hub meeting point of all of the different things that i'm doing across youtube behind the scenes stuff writing all sorts of random bullshit that pops into my head and just general arts newsletter. If that strikes your fancy, click the link below and sign up. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. We've done Project Space, we've done Studio Cabin, we've done Cabaret, we've done Music, we've done Content, we've done Twitch, we've done Chaos News, we've done Energy, we've done Finances, we've done it all guys and girls and gender rebellious pals. One of the things 2020 highlighted for me was that I had been coasting in a lot of different areas. I had not been pushing myself to make progress in the areas that I wanted to make progress in. And I was not headed towards things that were what I would consider priorities for what I want to do in life. So my attitude going through the next year and beyond is to fine tune what my priorities are and put the energy that I have in focused chaos <laughs> ways towards things that I feel are headed in the direction that I want to go in. Whether that's a cabaret show, which it is, a newsletter, which it also currently is, Twitch streaming or whatever, building a fucking cabin in the countryside, which also I'm totally going to document that on YouTube because... um. <laughs> I fucking love those videos and also if I'm going to put hours and hours and hours of stuff into it, I want to share that with you guys. I want to focus more on things that mean something to me. I don't want to coast. I don't want to push myself to go in a direction because I feel like it's where I should be going. I want to push myself to do the things that scare me to do projects that terrify me and excite me and to make fucking good art that I am passionate about. That is what I want to do. My priorities is being here more because fucking look at it is making shit that scares me and I love and is trying to connect with people and bring people together in a way that is sort of just beneficial for the world, I guess. I don't know. Is that too wanky of a goal? <sighs> I want to be here. I want to be happy. And I want to have energy to create the things I want to create. That has been a random life update from me. I hope you have enjoyed this little walk and me showing you hopefully a part of my future. Thank you for joining. 
If you want to stick around more chaos, there's a subscribe button below if you haven't already. You can also sign up to Chaos News below. And until I see you next time, keep calm and chaos on. I love you guys. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.